Saint Columba of Ireland and his prophecies about end times in the last years. Here he is depicted at Bride's Fort, converting the king. And we know that uh, apostles are, Christ's apostles are in every age, not just the beginning of Christianity. And uh, he's one of my beloved saints. Columba, 7 December 521 to 9 of June 597 AD, was an Irish abbot and missionary evangelist credited with spreading Christianity. As we know, uh, Christianity was one faith at that time. It was Christian Orthodox. So uh, he was spreading Christianity in what is today Scotland at the start of the Hiberno-Scottish mission. He founded the important abbey on Iona. And uh, I want you to know that he he has uh, prophesied that after a thousand years that uh, Christian, Christian Orthodoxy would return to England. And he has uh, made a miracle. He has, he has performed a miracle in that one of his little churches that he built at that time was actually given by the uh, Catholic Church to a Christian Orthodox priest of England who went uh, to study in England from Romania. He wanted to study economics, so he turned out to be a priest monk. And um, this church was given to him, and it's now the All Saints Church of British Isles. And all the liturgies there are performed in English. So anyone there close to that island, there is the All Saints Church of the British Isles on the island of Iona. So he founded the uh, Abbey on Iona, which became a dominant religious political institution in the region for centuries. And he's the patron saint of Derry. He was highly regarded by the Gales and the Picts and is remembered today as a saint, one of the 12 apostles of Ireland, Ireland, and not only the Catholic Church, but of course, very much so by the Christian Orthodox Church. He studied under some of Ireland's most prominent church figures and founded several monasteries in the country and around 563 AD he and his 12 companions crossed to Naverty near Southern, South End Argyle in Kintyre before setting in, settling in Iona in Scotland, then part of the Ulster Kingdom of Dal Raita where they founded a new abbey as based for spreading Celtic Christianity among the pagan Northern Picts Kingdom. We know that they were Druids. He remained active in Irish politics, though he spent most of his remainder of his life in Scotland. Three surviving early medieval Latin hymns may be attributed to him. And now what about his prophecies concerning the end times? St. Columba, illuminator of Scotland, celebrates annually his feast on June 9th. He said, listen you until I tell you what will happen in the last ages of the world. There will be great massacres, many evils, justice will be perverted, many unjust laws will be imposed. The time is coming when they will not show mercy and the truth will not remain in them. They will plunder the property of the church, they will mock one another, and yet they will hire them as readers and scribes. They will defile acts of humility. There will come times of dark sorrow, lack of goods, Monarchs will be addicted to lies, now that it means leaders. Neither justice nor agreement will be observed by any of Adam's race. They will become hard-hearted and penniless and devoid of piety. Clergy will become educators of socially weak children, etc. As a result of general poverty, churches will become captives of occasionally powerful men. Judges will decide unjustly at the urging of powerful, hideous kings. The lay people will also uh, adopt false views. How deplorable will be their condition. Scientists will have reason to grumble about their degradation. They will have a miserable attitude. The elderly will mourn with such much sorrow because of the sad times that will prevail. Cemeteries will turn crimson as a result of the wrath that will follow the sinners. Wars and conflicts will occur within every family, excellent people will sink into poverty, people will be inhospitable and hospitable to other to their visitors. To them, the voice of the 
parasite man will be more acceptable than the melody of the harp that comes from the finger of the wise. As a result of the general prevalence of sins, humility will not produce fruit. The professors of science, first of all theology, will not be rewarded. Friendly, friendliness will not characterize the people. So he called scientists the theologians, right? Now, favor and hospitality will no longer exist, but avarice and poverty will replace them. As the seasons change, half of the amount of green will be produced. The usual church holidays will not be observed. All classes of people will be filled with hatred and enmity among themselves. People will not socialize on major seasonal holidays. They will live without justice and righteousness from youth to old age. The clergy will be led by astray, led astray by the misinterpretations of their readings. The relics of the saints will be considered to have no power. Every generation of man will become wicked. Young women will not be ashamed. In other words, the way they dress and the way they, they, they behave and their morality, their chastity. Old men will become irritable. Even cows will rarely produce milk compared to before. Rulers will become murderers. The rude attitude of the youth will be reduced. They will loathe white-haired people. There will be no rule by which morality can be controlled, and marriages will be performed without witnesses. The last centuries of the world will be turbulent. The disposition of the people in general, I point out from the time they abandoned the habit of hospitality with a view to honoring themselves, they will ridic ridicule one another. The well-to-do will fall from the lot of their lies. The love of goods will conquer all gluttons. And when they are satisfied, their arrogance will be without limit. Between daughter and mother, there will be an ang anger and sarcasm constantly. Neighbors will become treacherous, cold, and two-faced among themselves. Landlords will be greatly resented for their meager donations. And relatives in the flesh will treat each other coldly. Church properties will pass into the hands of the laity, the laity. This is a description of the people who will live in the coming centuries. Each succeeding generation of people will be more unjust and sinful than the last. The trees will not bear their usual amount of fruit, the fishing will not yield, and the earth will cease to provide its usual abundance. Bad weather and famine will, be cut, will come, and the fish will leave the rivers, People will be oppressed by lack of food. They will wish for death. Terrible storms and gales will afflict them. Then innumerable diseases will prevail. The protective structures will be built more dist distressingly in these times of great danger. I guess he means that they're going to have earthquakes. Protective structures meaning buildings. Then a great e event will occur. I cannot overlook it. Righteousness will be his guise. And if you are not truly holy... An even sadder event could happen. In other words, he's talking about the evil one coming. Righteousness will be his disguise. And if you're not truly holy, an even sadder event could happen. And this I've translated for you from a Greek article concerning one of my beloved saints, St. Saint Columba. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. I kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.